Genesis Chapter 14 Abram Rescues Lot It came to pass in the days of Amraphel king of Shinar, Ariok king of Elisar, Chedor Laomer king of Elam, and Tidal king of Goyim, that they made war with Bera king of Sodom, Beersha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Adma, Shemeber king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, which is Zor. All these joined together in the valley of Siddim, which is the Salt Sea. For twelve years they had served Chedorlaomer, but in the thirteenth year, they rebelled. And in the fourteenth year, Chedorlaomer and the kings that were with him came and defeated the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Shava Kiriathiam, and the Horites in their Mount Seir, as far as El Perin, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, which is Kadesh, and conquered all the territory of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites who dwelt in Hazan Tamar. And the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, which is Zor, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Siddim against Chedorlaomer king of Elam, Tidal king of Goyim, Amraphel king of Shinar, and Ariok king of Elisar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Siddim was full of asphalt pits, and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some fell there, and the rest fled to the mountains. They took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, Abram's brother's son who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshel, and brother of Aner, and they were allies with Abram. Now when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hobah, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. Melchizedek blesses Abram. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Shava, which is the king's valley, after his return from the defeat of Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him. Then Melchizedek king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people, and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God Most High, Creator of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing, from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. Except only what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Aner, Eshel, and Mamre, let them take their portion. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.